necessarily need your whole army there to put pressure on the undead. In that case, he just uses Panda. He was able to put pressure on the undead, force Boo to go home to heal a little bit. And uh, and in the meantime, he was able to use that time to uh, to buy himself some space to put up to put up an expansion. Now, two of his expansions have failed, but you obviously can't stop trying. In the end, against Undead, you're going to want expansions eventually, in general. You don't necessarily need one. It's possible to win without one. But the fact of the matter is that Undead has a very, very sort of lasting army late game. They have, uh, they have good mono regeneration, they have good healing, they have good speed. It's easier for them to preserve their army than it is for you, and so they can often outlast you unless you have a resource advantage. Um, so you always want to be going for that resource advantage, which is exactly what... Uh, what Sonic is doing here. You'll notice here that the Dryads are also useful when Boo makes his inevitable yeah, counter. You want to start mixing in your Dryads before, you, instead of just massing straight bears forever and ever, because uh, the Undead is eventually going to make Destroyers or Frostworms or something to counter your bears. Um, I've even seen them go Banshees. Uh, you just have to be on the lookout. And eventually, um, Dryads are going to be the best thing. Uh, initially, Dryads aren't that good against Gargoyles because they can get picked off, but late game, when you have upgrades and you have really high-level heroes, Gargoyles aren't that strong, um, and Dryads become a very good way to supplement your heroes in addition to just a little bit of Rejuve. Um, and, then, and then, eventually, you want to start actually trying to control the air a little bit with upgraded Hippogriffs to supplement your high-level heroes, um, and with Roar, Hippogriffs become a good way to deal with their air. And if you have enough resources uh, to you know, pump up to that 80 food army, hopefully you're able to get an expansion up somewhere. Again, you watch what happened just there, you know, Sonic sent his panda home and he's putting pressure on the undead while creeping with the demon hunter and the rest of his army. Uh, eventually, hopefully you'll get an expansion up. This one didn't work out either. Boo's doing a very good job of canceling. And, uh, and you'll be able to mass up a pretty good sized army. Uh, and with that pretty good sized army, you'll be able to include enough hippogriffs to actually win the air battle with, uh, with Roar and upgrades. Is sort of the, the late game plan here. So you'll notice that Sonic is once again, you know, attempting to place an expansion, this time on the uh, the lower side of the map, while uh, using his panda to engage the undead. The idea here is that, you know, your Sonic is just staying at 50 food and leveling up his heroes, so he has a good enough army to fight off the undead with uh, without wasting too much of his resources. And then he's just trying to put pressure on the undead while trying to, while gaining a bit of a level advantage and creeping expansions. Um, and eventually, you know, he's going to going to outlast the undead and put up put up an expansion somewhere that the undead isn't scouting and uh, mass up a good good amount of resources. Now you have to be a little bit careful with staying at 50 food. You'll notice that Sonic is staying at 50 food here, and he's massing up a good bit of gold. But if you notice uh, that the Undead is making, you know, a large number of Frost Dragons, or they they seem to be going for their 80 food army, you have to be careful because it's it's very possible that you could just lose the game. You know, if Undead hits your base with an 80 food army and pretty strong hero levels when you're just sitting there at 50, um, you could easily just lose. So. So you'll notice that Sonic now has broken 50 food, um, and it's probably a good idea at this point because Boo is making a fairly sizable army. Now this is something else you can do. Sonic has actually gone into Boo's base and put on a little bit of pressure. Obviously Boo has a good army and slow towers and everything else is not a fight that Sonic wants to be in. And so Sonic TP'd home as soon as Boo got there, but before Boo got there, uh, Sonic was able to do a good bit of damage, and so this is something else that you can you can do to pressure the undead. You know, Boo was off. Uh, sorry, Sonic was off creeping right next to the undead base. There weren't really any good creep camps left to creep right near there, so he figured might as well use the time to run into the undead base and do some damage. And he was able to kill Lich, and then TP away. And all the time he's pressuring the undead and buying time um, to uh, to mass hippogriffs and hopefully eventually get an expansion up. And so this time the expansion uh, over on the south side of the map is going to complete, but Boo is going to be there again just in time. But now Sonic has broken 50 food uh, and uh, and made a pretty big army. Oh nope, I thought he was going to fight there, but he wasn't. Again, he just sent his panda. He sends his panda straight to the uh, right to the expansion with the rest of his army en route in case uh, Sonic in, tra in case Boo tries to kill that panda. Um, but just sending the panda there, he was able to. Uh, push the undead back because the undead doesn't want to get breath of fire a bunch of times. And and now, uh, just that little move right there was allowing him to buy time. You'll notice that Sonic continues to use dust intermittently to make sure that uh, Boo's shades are kept down. 
Research finished. Lots of little tips you can pick up from in this game. Little things that Sonic's doing you should... I'm not even talking about everything that's happening in this game. You know, this is one of those replays that you can watch a bunch of times and learn a bunch of things from, because it's really interesting, uh, sort of how Sonic ends up getting the advantage in this game. You know, if you look quickly at Boo's army right now, Boo does have a 70 food army, um, and Sonic Sonic has a slightly smaller army, but, you know, a level 3 panda with, uh, with a high-level demon hunter and uh, a good number of hippogriffs is enough to uh, at least discourage the undead, especially when he doesn't have a high-level lich to put pressure on those hippogriffs. And so, uh, and so Sonic, you know, has uh, scared the undead away for the, for the time being, and now he has this time, and his expansion actually is up and running. And so Boo is probably going to be challenging this pretty soon. But in the meantime, he can use the time to, uh, to continue leveling up his heroes. These, uh, these main gold mines all around the map, uh, you'll notice that Sonic is mostly just going for creeping knees. Uh, they're very good camps to creep when you have berries because you uh, you can rejuve very easily to uh, to heal up the damage that you take from the creeps, and in the meantime you gain uh, you know some of those very good items with the potential for a greater healing potion and those kinds of things. And so Boo is just doing a little bit of creeping there, trying to get up to 80 food, um, and uh, you know preparing for a big assault on Sonic's expansion. Um, but in the meantime, you know, like I said, Sonic isn't. Sonic, now that he has an expansion up, isn't necessarily in a hurry to fight. He's going to creep, he's going to gain levels, he's going to use his, use his extra resources um, to, to get upgrades. You'll notice he's gotten 2-2 two, two upgrades throughout this, um, and to buy scrolls, and to just in general use that money to get his army in a place where he can actually win the fight. Our sacred grove so you'll notice now that Boo is uh, getting himself into position to attack Sonic's expansion. And Sonic now is finally going for one big TP. And, uh, and Sonic has, you know, a very high number of hippogriffs, um, and he has roar and upgrades. And so, uh, just, just being able to delay the undead and keep his expansion up for a small enough period of time, and you can see that once again, you know, the, the undead really can't fight him head-to-head -head here, um, and this is yet more time where Sonic has, exp has expansion up and running. Now, it's possible that this will end badly for Sonic. You know, the undead could find a way to kill the expansion, or could, you know, barely win the fight, and, uh, Our sacred grove is and Sonic could uh, end, up, end up losing this expansion. And so, you know, that being the case, Sonic is expanding some more. You know, right now Boo is very, very occupied with trying to deal with the up-and-running expansion that Sonic has, and so Sonic, in the meantime, is going to set up more expansions elsewhere around the map, which is always a good idea. Um, if you have the resources on Knollwood, it just it makes a lot of sense to continue expanding because it's a hard map to scout. It's a big map. It's easy to get easy to um, have expansions escape your ex opponent's notice. And if you can expand, you can expand sort of all over the place. You know, wherever you feel like your opponent might not check. Our sacred grove is being. Um, and that's exactly what Sonic's doing. And so now, you know, Sonic has an 80 food army. He has a bunch of bunch of roared hippogriffs. Um, and at this point, he has enough hippogriffs that he can just send them in. Um, you know, he's getting his, uh, his heroes into this fight now. Uh, and, you know, highly upgraded hippogriffs with Roar, and now a panda in the fight too, with Breath of Fire and such, um, are very, very effective. You know, if you, you notice that a lot of undeads do stone form to get out of Drunken Haze, if they stone form when all of your hippogriffs are in the air, uh, 